In third grade, Maury Povich diagnosed me with Tourette's syndrome. Well, my mom was watching an episode of his on the topic and she put two and two together. Raise your hand if you're familiar with Tourette's. Tourette's is? A neurological disorder, and it means I do movements and noises that I can't control called tics. Some of you are like, yeah, from South Park or Deuce Bigelow. Like right now, I'm winking and barking a lot. I threw my head back so hard and so many times I broke my own neck. I bark when I get really excited. My stomach muscles are always tensing. It's like a miracle I don't have a six pack. Wouldn't it be great if tomorrow morning I could wake up with uncontrollable jazz hands? I am Pamela Ray Schuler, professional stand-up comedian, internationally known disability advocate with a master's in advocacy, a certificate in executive coaching, and I have a whole lot of Tourette syndrome. <laughs> I always feel like I have to tell people that I have Tourette's when I get on stage because I wink uncontrollably. And 50% of the time I'll get off stage and some dude will be like, were you just winking at me? The reason I love comedy and storytelling is because it breaks down barriers. And it gives us this framework to grapple with ideas that are maybe outside of our comfort zone. I remember people having no idea how to speak to me. I have this very vivid memory in eighth grade of the school nurse leaning over and saying, Pam! Do you need to use the potty? I was like, no, do you? <laughs> Laughing together can really bring people together. Tourette's is funny. I grew up with a severe case of Tourette's, not even just a little bit. I lost control over my entire body. I was out of school for years, broken bones from Tourette's, and I laugh every day. I went to a huge public high school in the Midwest, and one day I was in detention where I lived, and the teacher decided to try something new. He took a sheet of paper and he wrote, things Pam loves about herself. And he underlined it and he slid it in front of me and he said, make a list. I remember wanting so badly to have something to put on that list. Define Pam. Ooh, wildly inappropriate. I decided to go on a diet for two reasons. The first is I realized that my body type was um, Danny DeVito. <laughs> I am incredibly resilient. Fear has become a good friend of mine. We date. I have done dirty things at night with fear. Too far? Too far? I am filled with this desire to make the world a better place for people who feel like they're on the outside of whatever world or community they're in. I so often hear people send the message like, thank God that's not me or my kid. And that's sending the message that disability is equal to someone who is less than or broken or incomplete, and that's not the case. At this point in my life, I love it. I love Tourette's, I love it. I could not have asked for a more perfect for me neurological disorder if I tried. I have worked with thousands of corporate teams like Disney and Google and Wells Fargo, a ton of colleges and more faith-based organizations, community events and high schools than I could possibly name. Plus two bachelorette parties because 2021 was a weird year. I have sat through so many diversity, equity and inclusion trainings, all important, all the same. I wanna help you and your team do more than just tolerate people with disabilities and differences. I wanna help you celebrate people with disabilities and differences. For me, courage is my commitment to being unapologetically me. If I need to bark, I'm gonna bark, even if it's on a date. And so often it's on a date. <laughs> Tourette's will always be my struggle, but when it comes to creativity and innovation, it is also my superpower. What's yours? So let's do it. Let's partner. Let's make this world more inclusive and accessible because we all benefit. See you soon.